story of the Magister was told in many different ways. A myth, a legend, a bedtime story to scare children from misbehaving, a rumor for the townsfolk to choose their new king in the land's meet, a fine knight blinded by the power and the riches he could hold if he was chosen. A tale as old as time. Powered by his hatred for mages, Favion spread the word of a monster that could take the shape of a human and that could destroy anything in the land with a mere snap of his fingers. The folk, they believed him. The old king's advisor told the young knight to bring the head of the magister and he will be crowned king. Favion did not hesitate and went on his quest. He walked three days and three nights to Belmere, where all mages took refuge. The massacre that followed still haunts the residents to this day. The boy cut the head off a mage he thought would resemble the monster he talked about and brought it to the advisor. He was crowned king the next day. Some time has passed since the massacre. Favion was thriving, basking in the riches and the, and the glory when a charming man entered the throne room. An auburn-haired boy that pledged his loyalty to the king, offering his assistance in exchange for a roof above his head, he would become his alchemist. Little did he know the doom this ginger-haired boy would bring upon his world. Once the king was slain and the land in peril, a strange man, a mage from another world, found himself in Thoris. He caught the attention of the killer with his strange talk about his realm and helped him on his quest to find the four gemstones that would not only save him, but his overworld. On his search for the last two stones, he met a young girl that tried to open his eyes, the Wild Witch of the East. She tried to show him the danger he was in if he kept trusting his companion. This man would not listen. After his arrival in Mayafall, he found his old friend sat on the throne. The insane mage who called himself the Real Magister then brought him into another world. With the help of an elven warrior, a dwarven rogue, and the wild witch, he killed the Magister. Oh, so he thought. The strange man was now crowned with the new king, King Arthello of Thoris. In the end, he had a choice. Go back to his overworld, and his memory of this realm would slowly be forgotten, or remain and continue his new life as the ruler. Even though he wanted to go back, something restrained him. Though we do not know what happened to the new king, we know the story of the old one, King Favion, the Ravenous. If there are survivors in the village, they must be dealt with quickly. Spare not one filthy mage. Yes, my lord. When shall we send the troops? At dawn. Go and inform them. Of course, my lord.
Do you really think this is wise, Your Grace? What purpose does this expedition have? Making the world rid of these blasted creatures is not wise? I would say it is so. All your rage towards them couldn't be healthy now, could it? You're a physician now. No, my lord. Then I suggest you not speak of my health. You, over there. Gather more men and start searching the townsfolk. I want every mage put to trial. Sire, you cannot force the hand of the kingdom. You risk war. War? With whom? Similar war. Let them rebel. They shall all have a taste of my blade if they wish to oppose me. Surrender yourself now, or face the consequences. You must be mistaken. I'm just a physician for my clan. I was just- And you're a knife ear also. <laughs> King Fabian will be thrilled. And you think insulting me is supposed to intimidate me into surrendering? Here is one for intimidation. and an elf in one. In my kingdom. You must be mistaken, I'm not a mage. My knights informed me you were using some kind of potions when you were discovered. If you are no mage, then why are you dabbling into the arcane? The arcane? I'm a physician. My clan was wounded after hunting in the Alder Wilds. I was preparing the cells to treat them. An elf physician? We all know your kind only uses magic for healing. Your grace. If she is telling the truth, don't you think she might be of use to us? We do need a physician after all. Nonsense. I know about these knife ear bastards. They lack the ability for survival. Send this one to the gallows. Now, is that at all necessary, my lord? My ward, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you prepare yourself for supper? Indeed, but it wasn't possible for me not to hear all this ruckus. Say, why is this elven woman on your floor, my lord? She is conspiring against us, using magic. Is there proof of such allegations? She was found dabbling into potion-making, my lady. And what is the elf's defense? Some nonsense about- I was asking her. What's your name? My name is Neria, my lady. Neria? Hmm. I suppose you would know better than to use magic in my affair, would you not? This is all a misunderstanding. My clan is wounded. They need me. We will make sure your people are brought to the castle. Thank you, my lord. In exchange for treatment, they shall serve the court. As for you, magic is still a threat to our nation and shall be eradicated. You are sentenced to death. Bring in the next mage. Where are you going, child? Shouldn't you wait for supper? I shall. Though I wish to ensure that the elves are actually in peril and that Naria was speaking the truth. There is no need. I will send my knights to bring them here. Forgive me, my lord, for saying this, but your knights are about as bright as a serving of porridge. The king wishes you to inspect the elven wounded. I shall escort Naria to the prison myself. You sure, my lady? If she is in fact a mage, it could be dangerous. The fact that you don't even know if she is one should raise you some questions, does it not? 
Leave us be. Of course, my lady. You're not taking me to the prison, are you? Obviously not. Come, we must haste before they realize. There is a secret passage through the dungeons. Why are you doing this? Favion's hatred consumes him every day. Eradicating magic is not the answer he seeks. Go down the path ahead and you shall meet the other apostates that will care for you until I return. May the Watcher eye over you. Dude in a mire fall. Is Aner in peril? Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. I believe the king has forgotten this already. I don't need to be here. I was brought here with no evidence. My clan needs me. I'm their only physician. So you were, my friend. So you were. If we are to stay here a while, I think introductions should be in order. My name is Castell. I'm Neria. I had fled Belmer when the slaughter commenced, and when the lady recently found me on her walk. I was close to dying from starvation. If it wasn't for her, I would have been devoured by wolves. I don't understand. What is with the sudden change with the law? My clan has been living here for decades, and tis the first time I see such manners towards the arcane. The king wishes to rid the world of mages. He is afraid, thinking they shall seek vengeance for the happenings of three years ago. Though, I might have a plan for that. Isn't there another empire we can migrate to? There might be, although we'd need help from the inside. Having the king's ward as an ally does give us an advantage. Though, she does not have enough power over the kingdom. I do have my ideas. Although, you shall have to earn my trust before I share. Of course. What do you need me to do? My lady! My lady! Watcher's gaze! Naria! You could be seen! What are you doing here? I have come up with a plan. Or, well, an apostate may have. He seeks an audience with the king. He claims he does not know of his existence and he can easily pose as a stranger. He wants a place in the court as an alchemist and he can vouch for me and possibly find me a spot as a position. Are you mad? He's going to accuse me of treason. Please, are you really going to allow an innocent to die? Who even is the apostate? Auburn hair boy, Castell. Yes, I I know him. I, I don't know, Naria. This, this could be very dangerous. It's worth a shot, don't you think? What's the worst that can happen? Very well, I, I can try, though I cannot promise anything. Now go back. I will seek out Castell once the king agrees. If he agrees. Thank you, my lady. Please. Call me Brimy. Now, go! These apostate mages are going to get me exiled. Oh, my darling, there you are. I was just about to send a search party for you. My lord, so I received some news from a foreign traveler on my quest to check on our elven friends. Foreign traveler? I don't really like the sound of that. He wishes for an audience. Is that alright with you? My lord. I will send one of the guards to bring him in. That is quite all right. I can bring him in with the news once we finish our supper. No need. He can come right now. 
What is his name? His name is Castell, but... Guards, bring in this Castiel traveler. Yes, your worship. No need to send out a search party. My name is Castell. At your disposal. A very preposterous entrance. Though my ward asked me of this favor, I shall not kick you out just yet. What is it that you wish? I come from House Chauvet, in the Prairie Empire. A house of nobles, last time I recall. And last time I recall, we were once at war with the Priaran Empire. Oh, but it was hundreds of years ago, was it not? What is your request? I have traveled for days and nights to arrive at your doorstep with a simple but vital request. I wish to join your court, my lord. You offer me shelter, I offer you my alchemical expertise. Alchemical? Aren't mages the ones dabbling in the arcane? You must have them confused. Alchemy and the arcane, though similar in names, for a buffoon, they are completely different. I can prepare elixirs for the warriors and your archers, and maybe even some spirits and ale, if you are in need of some. I'm not going to lie, this offer is pretty tempting. If you are keen on accepting my offer, you will not regret it. I am the best you can find. We shall see about that. Castiel of House Chauvin, I welcome you as the court alchemist. Though we were not prepared for your arrival, so you shall take the physician's chamber and turn it into your alchemy. Thank you, my lord. I will not forget this act of kindness. Though, there is one more part in my request. I have a friend who has been living here for the past decade. I believe she goes by the name Neria, an elf. She too does dabble in the arts of alchemy, though she is more skillful in the healing aspect. She is a physician for her clan, and I heard you are also in dire need of one. That elf is believed to be a mage. And if you conspire with a mage, you shall meet the gallows as well. My lord, for an elf to practice magic, it is required they go through a harrowing ritual. And they don't even come out as an ordinary mage, but one that possesses the forms of demons. They are the worst types of mages. Malefica. Blood magic. They are easily distinguishable by other elves, because they wear the sigil of the dead. Isn't that the thing on her forehead? Her markings? No, those marks are borne only by the most religious. You'll never see an ordinary city elf wearing any. Bring in the elf from the dungeon and search her for this sigil. Please excuse me. friend Castell. We've got both of you out of here. Quickly, go into that cell. One of the gods is coming to bring you in. Thank you, Brini. I will be forever in your debt. It is the second time you saved me. Don't thank me just yet. You better not have this sigil Castell is talking about, or else they will have you hang. Sigil? What sigil? Very well then, Nyfear. It seems it's your lucky day. The king wishes to see you. Is that so? Is he not finished with his mockery of my clan and my person? I will pretend I did not hear that. Before we depart, I need you to remove your clothing. Pardon? You are believed to be a mage, and how elven mages bear the mark of the dead, you shall be searched before entering the throne room again. I've been there before. If I wanted to attack, I easily could have. For your sake, you'd better listen to the king's orders. Give me just a moment. Very well then, please step forward. Well? She is clean. Very well then. Elf, please accept my sincere apologies for confusing you for a mage. Your friend here is responsible for your freedom. So you shall work under his command as a court physician. Thank you, my lord. I appreciate it. Now go to your quarters while my ward and I finish our supper. Where is that girl?
I shall forever be in your debt. There's really no need to thank me. How did you convince them I wasn't a mage, though? Easy. I told them a half-truth. Elves can only be mages if they are possessed by a demon. And I added that they wear a sigil that marks them for eternity. You aren't, though, are you? A what? You know, Malefica, a blood mage. Of course not. So, now that I gained your trust, what is your plan? A simple and easy one, and I will need your help. There is a temple in the Older Wilds, one you might be familiar with. The Temple of Ilimitar, Goddess of Magic. That's the one of the Elven Gods. What is your purpose with this temple? As a human, I am prohibited from entering the sacred grounds, but you, as an elf, may be able to. City Elf, might I add, completely different from the ancient ones that used to roam. Are you really a city elf? Your markings say otherwise. Fair point. You still haven't told me what you intend. With the help of the artifact found in the temple, we can make our favorite king one of us. Or one of my people. Do you know why the elves cannot possess the gift of magic? Do you really have to ask an elf that? Well, you know that the ancient elves used to have magic but decided to lay their power into the orb. So once an occasion like this arises, it could be used. Do you really think this is the smartest idea? What if the king finds out and has us both executed? Fear not. This is where Brimy comes in. What do you wish to do to her? Nothing, as of yet. Though I do have some ideas. Either way, Today is not the day to discuss. Prepare the room. I shall go put the plans into motion. What are you going to do? Free the apostates. Is that really wise? The apostates will roam the city. If they are smart, they will start to form a plan of attack. I'm starting to think you want to kill the king. <laughs> what a mad thing to say, my darling. I could not wish death upon even my worst enemy. But I digress. Time to prepare for the event. Tomorrow, we will speak of your departure to the temple. If you'll excuse me. My, what a charming man, don't you say? Leave me be, demon. I do not wish to speak to you. Oh, what a pity. Though I must ask, do you really think the mage's intentions are as pure as you think they are? And that he will spare the kingdom? Why would I not? I trust him. He got me out of the gallows. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Remember, Maleficar, you are bound to me. I feed on your fear and your emotions. I can taste the doubt and the horror of what may come. I'd really appreciate it if you got out of my head. Oh, but didn't you wish to bathe in the art of the Maleficarum? To save your clan, you say. What a pathetic excuse. There is no clan area, is it not? You keep lying to yourself. You use that clan to become what you are today, did you not? Isn't that why they're... How did you put it? Wounded. Your games aren't working on me, villain. I got used to you trash-talking me. Oh, you are no fun. All you do is clean up after a man who doesn't live to thank you for the service you're providing him. I am the new court physician. And when the king sees that you are in fact a blood mage, what will you be? <laughs> Another casualty. He is after you, did you know? He is on to you. If you have nothing better to do, or do not wish to help me, I suggest you leave me to my business. <sighs> As you wish.
What is the meaning of this? Why are all these mages here? Guards, seize them! An eye for an eye and two for a two. Your days are numbered, your majesty. Cherish them while you can. Guards, I said seize them! There are too many, your grace. There is nothing we can do. I warned you, Fabian. You brought this upon yourself. This is civil war. What civil war? A couple of mages angry at me for what? We've received news from Bellman and Aenor. They're coming to attack. The elves and the dwarves? What do they have against me? The nations are allied with the mages. Bellman managed to rebuild in three years an army that we should fear. Now all these apostates are returning to their home. They will be a threat to us. Did Aenor have anything to do with this? I doubt it. They've been threatening us for a while. They would have been soon if that were the case. This is that elf's doom, doubt. The elf was last seen in her chamber, my lord. This is no way she is responsible. What is the meaning of this? Don't talk to me. Leave him for now. He is quite angry, as you can imagine. She's gates. That's Tom, what have you done? What is all that fuss? The plan is in motion. The mages are free. Already? Now that civil war is upon us, we must prepare for the second attack. Dude, I don't know what's going on in that brain of yours, but you just doomed us all. Can't you wait a couple of days? Your manner of speech is so strange all of a sudden. I mean, tis best if we continue our plan in the morrow. I am exhausted. We shall speak of my departure to the temple then. <laughs> you almost slept. He will soon know you for who you are. Elf. Please stop talking, you're pissing me off. <laughs> And you're telling me all these things were under our castle the whole time? One of the guards on duty found their hiding place. They were under our nose the entire time. I will find the person responsible for this and I will execute them myself! Who's to say the mages didn't actually come up with the idea? Impossible. They're not that bright. That and the chamber is known only to the royal court. One of us is a traitor. Guards, lock down the castle. We shall not leave the premises until this renegade is found. You cannot lock the entire palace. Watch me. Then you better watch your tone while speaking to me. How dare you speak to me like that? You are a preposterous fool. Can't you see that all of this is your doing? If you weren't so ravenous and, and, and wrathful, we, we would not be in this situation. You are to apologize right now or face the consequences. Are you really going to hurt your only resemblance to a daughter? Your own ward? You are never to speak to me like that again. Get out of my sight! Was that really needed, my lord? You're driving away the only good thing in your life. Blasted creatures tainting my kingdom! My kingdom! Wish to speak to Castell alone. Freeing the apostates brought out the demon that resides at Fan. Do you realize that I can turn you into you not? But you will do no such thing. Then why should I not? Seeing the bruise on your cheek and the tears in your eyes is answer enough for me. What was your reason? If I may ask. A mage uprising was bound to happen sooner or later. I simply decided, now is the perfect time. You seek vengeance. Do you wish to help? Why would I? To answer your question with a question, why are you here then? Sit. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Mark my words as I speak, for I have seen the face of evil, and it has sat on the mighty chair. An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. You had his head, for I will have yours. Is this really the time to speak in riddles? Twas not a riddle, my elvish friend. 
For those were the words of the king's death. Death? The king is going to die? Is everything all right? Nothing to worry about, my dear. Just a small change in our plans. Please fix something up for dear Brimy. Her whole eye has swollen up. I yes, of course. Is she in her quarters? Hmm? Oh, most likely. Though she wishes to be left alone at the moment. You can deliver your craft tomorrow. Wanderer in the night sky. Where could her majesty run off to? Shut up. Now's not the moment. Careful now, Malefica. That you do not wish your friend here hears you mumbling to yourself. Oh, the things he must think. A gone demon shoe. Are you talking to yourself? N no. <laughs> Why would I? Neria? I am finished with the salve. I shall have it delivered in the morning. If you could excuse me for a moment, I need a breath of fresh air. The king has closed the doors of the castle. You cannot leave. He suspects treason in the royal court. He plans to execute the traitor himself. That puts Brimmy in danger. Which is why we need to act fast. Though, as I said, there's a slight change of plans. Are you going to keep stalling or actually tell me? We shall speak of this once you come back from the temple. I will find a way to sneak you out of the gates. <sighs> but not tonight. All this plotting has worn me out. Very well. I will see you in the morning. So you will. Somehow, I just knew I'd find you here. The treatment for your eye, my lady. Put it on the table, if you will. Ah, oh, Elf. How are you settling in? Well, it could be better if people stop referring to me as Elf. Or the other name. My apologies, I will sort out the name calling with the court. Nera, was it not? Correct. Very well. I wish to ask a favor of you. Well, it is more your duty than a favor, but I prefer to be polite. Of course. How may I be of service? Ever since last night, the king has been feeling a little... How do I put it to words? Stressed and he could not find peace for his slumber. Isn't there some sort of medicine you could prepare for him to help with this problem? Isn't that more of an alchemist's job? The king is a little skeptical of Castell. He thinks he is a spy from the Praran Empire, and that he is somehow tied to this whole war. He specifically asked for you. He really puts his trust on me that much? Well, no. Again, I was trying to be polite when I said he asked. Can you do it for me, please? Of course. Let me grab the herbs I need and I shall be on my way. Splendid. Thank you. Today is a very busy day, my friend. Some of the knights were wounded last night from the attack. They need you to aid them. I will be on my way once I finish the king's medicine. Medicine? What for? 
Apparently, he suffers from insomnia now. Oh, does he now? Send the elf to tend to my wounds. I am the only doctor in this castle. Now hold still. Alright, now apply pressure on the wound. The alchemist better not be wrong about you, elf. I love how you put more trust into the human, even though we both started working together at the same time. Lift your arm up. Your medicine, my lord. There you are. Are you finished with your duties? For now, at least. Splendid. So am I. Let's go for a walk. Where to? You will see. I spoke to Briny, as you saw this morning. She can find a way to make our absence unnoticed, at least for an afternoon. Oh, I'm to go to the temple now? Yes, and I shall join you. I think I can manage myself. I believe you, though... What if danger arises? Can you defend yourself? I have my ways. Of course you do. Now, follow me. Nobody ever comes here to this fountain, which is such a shame if you think about it. But before I start rambling again, I can teleport us out of the walls and into the wilds. How so? Magic, Neria. Magic. Now, we must be on our way. Time is running short. Do you know where exactly the temple is? Yes, I have been there before. Follow me. Did you hear that? Wolves! We must hurry! So, what now? Leave it to me. <coughs> it got me! I can deal with this! You just run for the temple! I can't just leave you here! You must! No way! Do it, Morphica. Show your true self. Please don't tell anyone about this. The talking to yourself and the fact you were actually put on trial. It makes sense. You are a Malefica. How fascinating. Please just keep it to yourself. Of course I will. Your secret is safe with me. Can we please keep moving now? After you, Blood Mage. Please don't call me that. There it is, the Temple of Illimitar. What should I expect? Any sort of trial? I do not know, for I was not able to enter. Lovely. Are you ready? As ready as I can be in this situation. So, 
VLAN? Care to keep me company while I walk around? VLAN? Hello? May governance, sister. Not gonna lie, I didn't expect that. The path ahead is simple, yet complicated. You wish to find the tombstone, you shall pass a test. Of course there's a test. What is it? You bear the mark of the ancestors. Only a true faithful can pass it. Expose yourself as a phony, and you shall meet your end. Oh great, riddles. Bride is sad, the gardener happy. Rain clouds? I felt the cold teardrops coming from the clouds pierce my skin as I laid lifeless in front of my own brethren. She was supposed to be our savior. Her betrayal doomed us all. I was once the most powerful, a force to be reckoned with. But my own sister put me to sleep. I now linger in my sorrow, longing for what I can never be. I was once Dulan, the goddess of nature, though this means nothing anymore. I hate riddles. Feathered I fly, landing I die. What strange bird am I? An arrow? One of the first instincts of mankind is the need to hunt, providing for themselves and their loved ones. I was ready to shoot my arrow, focused on the prey. Then it all went black. I was Vidal, god of the hunt. What irony that the hunter became the prey. A box that everybody needs in time, but not one wishes to use in their prime. What am I? A uh, jewelry box? Illumitar thought she could save her kind from the fake gods that tamed the earth. She locked all our power into the orb which she guards. Though she could not take mine. As I watched all my brothers and sisters fall, I took matters into my own hands. I laid her in the box. A coffin. I answered wrong, didn't I? My name is Malena. The goddess of death, you are a phony. For this you shall meet your doom. That doesn't sound good. Tell me, my child, have I gone mad? 
If you mean the whole civil war and the mage rebellion, then no, you haven't. Oh, what a dreadful dream I had. Or maybe it wasn't a dream. Did you really kill all those gods? No, young one. I saved them. I saved them from themselves and the chaos they created. The lies they spread and the false hope they gave our kind. I had to put them to sleep so nobody else would be tainted by their sin. We still worship them. You didn't really do a good job. As long as they cease to live, the elves can roam free. By the look of your clothes, I can tell I succeeded. Lovely. So there is an orb that can turn a human into a mage. Is that here? The orb cannot do this. The orb will bring destruction in the hands of evil. I cannot let you have it. No, no. I actually need it to stop an evil. The king wants to execute all mages. If I use the orb on him, he'll have no choice but to leave them alone. The vessel that absorbs the orb will have every god's soul that stepped on this land. You ask too much of me, but you did awaken me from my slumber, and you did say you wanted to defeat an evil. Your words are true. You shall have my orb. Now go, my child, for I'm finally free, and we shall meet another time. What about the Reaper-looking spirit? The orb should protect you from the spirits in this temple. It should protect you even from death. Marvelous, is it not? Now, let's hurry before they realize we are missing. Fancy seeing you both here. Is the medicine done, Nero? Yes, I had it delivered to the king not too long ago. Perfect, thank you. I have also heard you treated the wounded in the barracks. You are doing great work. The king will be pleased to hear. Oh, thank you. That is good to hear. I will leave you to your talk. I have some unattended business I should take care of. Did you get it? Did you find it? I have it right here. And Naria, does she know what is to come? No. It's too dangerous now to keep her around. Is she what you expected? A blood mage? Yes. I experienced it firsthand on our way to the temple. What is the next step? We wait until midnight. Then we begin the ritual. Are you sure this is going to work and not actually kill me? We'll never know unless we try. And how do we keep Naria distracted? I have just the perfect plan for that. But I will require your assistance once we're done. Well then, what shall we do to pass the time? Patience, my dear. Everything will be dealt with in due course. These mages are ruining my kingdom. I can't just stand here and do nothing while the threat still lingers. Either we fight back, or surrender. Now the latter is not an option. Very well. If we are to strike, we shall do it somewhere in the middle. We cannot risk the townsfolk's lives for this petty war. Petty war? How is this a petty war, exactly? My apologies, my lord. No, no, an explanation would be much appreciated. It must be the lack of sleep talking. Do not listen to me. If you think this is a petty war, why not just join the opposite force? I am sorry, my lord. I spoke before I thought. <laughs> of course you did. Send the scouts near Smithsway Valley and see whether the mages have passed it. If so, we march at dawn. Of course, my lord. Also, inform the knights of the battle to come. I want them in their best shapes. I will be on my way. <laughs> Petty war. I can't trust even the shadows that stand around.
morning, dear Neria. And what a wonderful day it is. Yes, I guess you would be excited about this. Why wouldn't I be? The sun is setting, it is neither hot nor cool, and my plan has been put into motion perfectly. You're kind of keeping me out of the loop. When are we going to use the orb? At the perfect time, my friend. I shall let you know. Do not worry, my darling. Your time will come very soon. Ominous. Did you do something to your hair? Or anything? You seem very different. I will take that as a compliment. What do you mean by different? Something is... off. Best be on your way. Looks like your presence is needed. Ready. Attack! For the king, most likely. This whole fight is useless and could have been avoided so easily. I know. But we have no other choice now. So are we supposed to just stand here and watch? I mean, we could try to make it harder for them. Or just enjoy the show. Fair point. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. We need a healer. Quickly. Well, that's my cue. Do not spare the details when I come back. <coughs> what is the meaning of this? Get up and fight! strange. There hasn't been a plague in Theros for centuries. There were no signs of it developing. How did it out of nowhere arise? The mage is doing, no doubt. Using the plague as a weapon to strike the king down. And to think I had sympathy for such foul beings. We still do not know if it is actually a plague. Right, Naria? Oh no, it definitely is. Shortness of breath, coughing out blood, numbness of the limbs. And the bloodshot eyes are a dead giveaway. A plague, uh, of all things, this... This is madness. While the king is ill and impossible to rule, we need someone to take over his place. Lady Brimey, as the only heir, you will have to take responsibility. 
at least for a while. You shall rule the kingdom while I order the soldiers. <coughs> I can take care of this. No plague will slay me. Especially not in these times. I think you should rest, my lord, and not get out of bed. I don't take orders from elves. Well, this elf is supposed to save your life, so you better get back to bed, my lord. While the king is in bad shape, I... Then I suppose I could take over his place? But... Am I really prepared? I... Oh, watch her wire plague of all things. <laughs> Alright, everyone out of the room. Let the king rest. Well, these are really unfortunate times to have a war, but we must keep going. They have to answer for this plague. It seems a little extreme for the mages to do this. It must be very powerful to hit us like that. Maybe the king's tale of this magister is true after all. Tale? Wait, the magister is not real. Or so we thought. Or he thought. You don't know the real story of his coronation. If the Chantry found out, they would dethrone him this instant. That would explain why he hates mages so much, and why he wants to kill them all. They would expose him, wouldn't they? Expose him for the tyrant he is. <sighs> yes. Then do you really think it's fair how we treat these people? There's nothing I can do. We are already at war. The plague has just aggravated the situation. If we surrender now and they lift the sickness, Favian will have my head. Watch us gaze. We're doomed. I hate to say it, but I must go see the soldiers. They better be in their best shape for tomorrow's assault. Plague or not, if you'll excuse me. Of course. <sighs> what a fool. That's quite fickle of you, Brimmy. I'm a good actress, what can I say? So, do you know the whole story with the king? Of course I do. <laughs> Why would you think I saved all those mages from the gallows? And Cass? Don't you think it's a little extreme? The plague can affect us as well. Not all of us. You see, remember that orb? The, what did Castell tell you about it? That he would turn the king into one of the mages, but somehow he had a change of plans? Though he didn't elaborate, well, why do you ask? Well, he wanted to use it on the king, but in the end he used it on me. The both of us brought the plague using that orb, but Castell and I, we are immune. What? No, that's too much. Why do you think it would be a good idea? If the soldiers are weak, then they have no chance against us. The kingdom will fall, and so will Fabian. So... You actually want to kill the king? More or less, yes. No, that's it. I can't let you do that. I have to inform the advisor. Whatever you're doing can be put off. Neri is going to tell the advisor everything. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that just yet. As a matter of fact, I'm working on something that could actually help us with this. Oh, really? Like what? We're going to frame her. Put the blame of the plague on her. Reveal her as a Malefica, so they'll strike her down on sight. And how exactly are you going to do that? Easy. I'll just take some miscellaneous things from her desk and make something up. The knights are far too stupid to think otherwise. That's almost genius. We'd better get moving before things turn sour for us. There is something. Oh god, I can't breathe. What is it? You don't have the plague either, do you? No. Remy and... Oh Jesus. I have something to confess. Calm down. Breathe a little and tell me what's wrong. I know the source of the plague. Who started it and why it struck in the worst time possible. Well then, tell us. I'll tell you who actually started the plague. I guess I was quite wrong about my friend here. She started all of this. The freeing of the mages, the plague, the rebellion, her doing. Nera, 
Is this true? No, 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 you must believe me. It was them. Castell is a mage and he turned Brimmy as well. They both started this. Please, you have to believe me. Explain these then. My alchemical expertise tells me these ingredients are used for this type of magic. Blood magic, might I add. Didn't you say these blood mages have this type of sigil on them? Yes, I did. Obviously, she's managed to mask it somehow. Please, I'm telling you, it's not my fault. She did not only confess to me, but I saw this blood magic with my own eyes. She is a danger to the kingdom and needs to be executed right now. Yet another betrayal. How many are there to come? Guards, seize her. It is your time, Blood Mage. You have been spotted. Your downfall is nigh unless you reveal your true self to them. Do it, Minifica. Show them your true self. No, there has to be another way. I can't do this. See? She speaks to her demon right before our eyes. An, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. For a tooth. The, the debt, debt of blood, blood must be paid in full. Demon! Go after her. Kill her. You kill the plague by all means necessary. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Your Majesty. We will be sure she is dealt with. Now that they're all out of the way, it's time we handle the king. My kingdom. Speak of the devil. I can rule it. <coughs> Even now. Plague really mess with his mind. Especially now. My kingdom. My kingdom. Should we do anything about it? He land for the love of fuck, do something! I do not have your permission anymore. You know what you need to do. I lost my knife back there. How much blood do you really need? I need an opening. Your wound is mostly healed. Unless you make another one, there is nothing I can do. Why did I have to heal almost instantly? What am I to do now? As much as it pains me to say, seek the old god. Seek for her aid. Go to the temple and seek refuge. Or you will have to carry on without me. You, a demon, telling me to go to a sacred temple. If you die, so do I. So do they. They? The knights? You will learn soon. Elementar, Elementar, even death, it doesn't matter. Someone answer me. Not you. Please, not you. I've been waiting for this moment for years. Why? Why are you doing this? I told you to watch the way you speak to me. You know what they say. An eye for an eye. Brian, please. Don't do this. You had his head? I love you as my own daughter. For I will have your. The only one I truly loved. Wait! What do you mean, wait? We're so close. Uh, let him speak. The day you arrived at the castle, I knew you're the most perfect being I have laid my eyes on. All this glory blinded me from the real treasure that is right in front of me. <laughs> it was you. I don't know what to... That is a little too sappy for me, wouldn't you say? Why did you do that? I I told you to wait! This is what you wanted, remember? Have his head on a spike? Well, here you go. This was a big mistake. Oh, please. Stop crying like a baby. The 
all these creatures. But what did you do? What we did. With the king's blood, one of the most powerful people and the souls of the old gods, I have the strength to put my plan into motion. You used me? For what? Well, it's no fun if I actually tell you. Might as well leave you on a cliffhanger. Pity. You'd think she would have put up more of a fight. Please, there has to be a way I can escape. I'm not a high enough level to use fight things like that. You would have killed me instantly. Level? What are you talking about? This is a game. I'm inside a game. You are not real. This is not real. This is just a character created. I don't even look like this. Arthella isn't even my real name. What are you saying? This is a game? What game? No way. Another player.